are more single men around you than there were before. And even in general, men are willingly taking it easy when it comes to relationships. Why is this? What is making men stay away from women and being in relationships with them? Keep watching. Relationships used to be based on mutual trust, customs, and ideals. Men and women approached dating and relationships very differently 50 or 60 years ago. Women used to accept men with consideration and respect when they approached them. However, things have changed. The changes are immense. However, we must really consider why males no longer approach women. Why do guys shy away from women? What has changed over the years that males now prefer to communicate with women in different ways rather than approaching them directly? Let's investigate. Before the internet, smartphones, and social media, there was no way to instantaneously connect with women, no matter how far away they were from you. Men used to physically approach women and express their interest in them back then, since there was no other method to engage with women. Before he could take her out on a date, he had to adhere to social conventions by dressing beautifully and even talking to her parents. Guys may now contact women anytime they want, from wherever, and the same is true for women. It required a lot of effort back then. Everything has to be planned by you. It was easier and, I suppose, slightly more thrilling. You probably had a picture in your head of someone you saw and loved since you didn't have the luxury of looking her up on social media. And it is what compelled guys to go see the woman in person and request their time with her. People dated largely inside their own groups back then since that was how things operated at the time. Unlike now, the distance was a genuine problem. You may communicate with someone online in real time who is located anywhere in the world. Therefore, neither men nor women had access to such comforts or the freedom to socialize with virtually anybody back then. It was serious business back then. There was little interaction. Before getting married, Males had a maximum of two opportunities to meet and get to know women. Because they had no other choice, boys had no choice but to approach women. And for this reason, there was far more chemistry, connection, and mutual understanding than there is now. Due to the numerous distractions we face nowadays, on social media, a person seeking for someone could like someone, but they might also like five other individuals. They would engage in sporadic online interactions, and even while they were dating, they would be glued to their phones, conversing on a group chat, or attempting to obtain the ideal picture for Instagram. We are entirely cut off from one another and our reality, despite the fact that we are far more linked than we were in the past. It's absurd. Why then do guys not approach women anymore? I believe the reason is that males typically weigh any decision's advantages and disadvantages before acting. The disadvantages of approaching women today outweigh the advantages by a wide margin. Today, approaching women nearly always results in humiliation, being called a perv, or just being ignored and socially shunned. Why? Because most males are perceived by women as predators or desperate men. They will be fine if they already know a guy and want him to contact them, but that is another matter. Yet it is simply not worthwhile for a male to approach an unidentified woman. Too many risks exist. Social embarrassment, total ignorance, and a generalized dread of rejection all seem too risky. The average woman would embarrass the average guy more frequently than not if he politely approached her to start a discussion. In today's society, approaching a woman almost invariably ends in rejection being referred to as a perv, or simply being ignored and socially outcast. Why? Because women often think of men as being either predators or desperate. If they already know a person and want him to get in touch with them, they will be all right. But that is a different story. But for a man to approach an anonymous lady is just not worthwhile. There are too many hazards. The universal fear of rejection, complete ignorance, and social disgrace all seem too perilous. If a male approached a lady respectfully to start a conversation, she would likely humiliate him more often than not. The issue arises though, when you witness a woman publicly humiliating a man for just speaking to her while she is out in a public place with a large group of onlookers and knows she is somewhat secure. So if we dig a little further, 
We can only deduce that contemporary women no longer appreciate the typical male or men in general. Returning to my subject of status, do you believe a woman would treat someone like Elon Musk or some rich billionaire the same way if she is known for showing disdain for the average and below average men that approach her? She would treat a man with respect and be more tolerant of him. Though if she feels that he is superior to her, watch the interactions between a woman and her boss. Consider who she would treat respectfully if they came to her, the boss or the janitor. Modern ladies clearly have no regard for males nowadays, and I think the majority of guys have decided not to talk to these women because they have understood this. Men have made the decision to just stop engaging in any conduct that enables women to treat them disrespectfully and belittle them. Males have noticed that women's treatment of males has recently deteriorated. They have made the decision to put their name, integrity, and respect before the disdain and denigration that women have shown them. Seriously, I'd be far better off avoiding ladies because, I swear, I've heard tales of girls reporting people who approach them to the police. Obviously, there was nothing wrong with the males. They just didn't suit their ideal profile in appearance and wealth. Why then would I or anybody else subject myself to anything like this? It is not logical. Additionally, I believe that a significant portion of women are just no longer worth contacting. I believe women desire men's validation in public, so they may flaunt it in their circles, embarrass the man, and feel validated, something she lacks in every aspect of her life. Can one even approach a modern woman? People will opt not to approach you after taking one glance at you, much less strike up a discussion if you don't make yourself seem approachable if you want to be approached. Additionally, modern women present themselves in public as though they were royalty. Men no longer approach women because of how they act in public, which is another factor. They just don't seem particularly accessible in the sense that they send out the message, don't bother me, to others. Would a lady approach a man who was always displaying an expression that effectively stated, do not come near me, in no way. Ladies pay attention because here are the answers to your questions. Check your friend zone. If you by chance do not have one of these, then you are in for one heck of a scavenger hunt to put it simply. Women have generally driven that so-called legendary good man from what used to be something as familiar as a copper-colored penny into something as rare as an Eisenhower dollar. A lot of nice dudes and good dudes do not make it through their 30s continually being good dudes. Usually by this point in time there are a couple of options for the majority of men. Some of those good men just go fly out and go their own way and swear off women for the rest of their life. Then the overwhelming majority of the rest of us have finally caught on that now. We are the men in our 30s and women in their younger 20s want us now. A lot of the same dudes you talk about spent their teenage years dry. The majority of their 20s? Dry. And now that we finally made it to our 30s and now we have the cars, the houses, everything planned out, a lot of us guys become the equivalent of an attractive woman when she becomes 18 or when she got options now. The same thing applies to women in public and private settings. If a man sees a woman he likes and wants to start a conversation with, and she looks cold and closed off, he will assume she doesn't want to talk to anyone, and he wouldn't want to approach that woman. That is how important smiling and looking inviting with open body language is. But modern women don't care and aren't willing to change. So likewise, men are just not going to approach and that's that. You get what I mean, right? Yet they continue to cheat on guys who already have all they desire. Men are now starting to wake up and comprehend all of this. They don't have time to squander on women who make interactions with them pointless. Women don't appear to be aware of how essentially rigged the game is for guys. They desire what they desire. Men will also no longer engage in accepting the unwelcoming attitudes of women. Men will thus just pursue their hobbies gladly while working hard and enjoying their leisure time. Because there are more options now, they would be better suited to interact with women online to decide whom they can spend their time with. Thanks for watching the Circle of Kings. As always, we're looking forward to your support. So please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything all kings like yourself need to know.